Hey guys, I'm Luca Mundo, and welcome to Cosmeteer. This is a new game series that I would love to start playing. I've loved this game, and so we're going to get right into it. We're going to do a new game. We're going to do career. I think that's going to be pretty fun. We're going to be a captain. No, oh, yeah, captain. Captain is in the middle, uh, and we can highlight it. It tells us a little bit about it. It says take normal damage and deal normal damage, which is perfectly fine for me. Let's go ahead and look at some of these others. Take 25% more. Take 40% more. So, so th that's that's fine we'll do the captain now architect for economic difficulty let's see so we have builder which is resource drop rate increased by 100 percent whereas this is standard drop rates i think i want to do standard for now now what ship do we want to start with that's perfectly fine let's go ahead and start so if you guys don't know what this game is about it allows you to build a spaceship you get to manage your crew by assigning different functions to them you get to go and explore the galaxy and you get to gather resources uh, speaking of exploring the galaxy we've got an unknown contact and our unknown contacts we can go ahead and check it out really quick all right as we come into range here we're going to see what it is. All right, so it's this guy right here. We're going to go ahead and come up to it. And so I'm going to probably right-click on this disruptor. A disruptor is a type of blaster here. And we're going to go ahead and play. So now my focused fire is going to hit the disruptor. And we're going to go ahead and nail that disruptor. Come on, it's almost dead. There we go. Let's shoot the other one. How are we doing? So our dis the disruptors kind of disrupt the energy coming out of your guns. Um, but with both disruptors gone now we can focus on actually let's focus on the reverse engines here There we go reverse engines are down now. He is dead in the water So now we can go into our build mode the first thing we can see is repair all all these components like for instance This is uh, just some sheet metal and some uh, coils. Well, it's not sh sheet metal. It's called steel and so you can actually utilize uh, the items floating around to repair with. So boom, I repaired it all. Now I can go ahead and manage what this ship looks like. I'm actually wanting to add one more blaster, but I don't want to lose my crew. So how it works is you have an energy supply, which is the core. And that's going to supply energy to all these different components. Even your cockpit requires power. And so the energy core produces batteries. And these batteries will then go ahead and distribute the plasma batteries throughout. So at this point in time, we can go ahead right here and we can harvest. Now we can click this button or just hit the G key. And then we can select this whole ship. And so all of my crew are going to go out and they're going to start mining this, breaking it down, and bringing all those resources inside the ship. Now, good thing is I can actually go and I can build more using those resources. I think I want to add more armor. So let's go here to armor and there's a bunch of armor blocks. I kind of like these larger armor blocks. We can mirror so it will mirror like that. Uh, let's turn mirror mode off. Let's go ahead and add that up. Let's go ahead and get that blaster back in here. And so now we have a little bit of a a little bit of a more rugged ship here. Uh, if we're interested in seeing it, we can click this to show the interior. And this is what the exterior looks like. Now you can paint this and make it all what you want. All right, let's go back to this space station and we're gonna go to the galaxy map. Now this is kind of where you'll exist. Each one of these dots is a solar system with some planets and a sun of some type, some sort of star. The planets aren't really accessible. However, the star has normally space stations around it and things like that. So the higher the number, so like for instance, this 13 to 15, that is actually a difficulty level. Currently we're in one to three and then two to four and five to seven, so on and so forth. We'll probably hit these two relatively soon, uh, but uh, let's keep going here. All right, so we're at the station here. I'm also paused. Let's go ahead and unpause that. And let's try and do some things. So first off, I do want to uh, access the station. How we do that is by going to comms and then just clicking on the station and we'll access it. Now the station gives us two things or, or several things. Mission boards, uh, it gives us hiring crew abilities so we can we can hire more crew if we need more crew. Uh, also, it gives us access to their trading system. We can sell what we have. And honestly, if we aren't going to upgrade our system, let's go ahead and sell as much as we can. 
that'll give us a total of an extra 5,000. And then of course, on top of that is purchasing the blueprints. I, I, I do want the laser blaster. So here are some bounties. Now we did just do one bounty and I don't know, we'll, we'll have to find it, but we wanna do some of these bounties. So let's go ahead and accept, I don't know, three of them, sure. Let's accept three of them. And it now it shows across our map what we have. These are the three bounties we have. There's a space station up here, space station here. Normally space stations are near planets. Uh, there's also question mark. That can be an unknown signal of some type. We were able to purchase an upgrade, which is a better blaster, the heavy blaster. We're gonna go into blueprint mode, gonna turn off mirroring. And what would happen if we were to put this here? We'd be able to afford it by quite a bit. Or do we want to put two? We could afford two. Uh, and that would honestly be so nice. Let's go ahead and remove those pieces. I want to move this out here. Let's add in more quarters here. We're just going to add a teeny weeny bit of armor here and here. Let's go ahead and make that official. Boom. So we just made it official. We just built it. So these guys are getting back in and they are going to go to their crew quarters. So let's go ahead and get some more crew on board. See how many we can hire. Can I hire four? Let's see. One, two. I can only hire two. Let's go. We've got, uh, okay, one crew in EVA. Let's go ahead and let's go find one of those bounties. So let's head down toward this targeted area. It's a fugitive bounty. And so we're gonna pause it for a second. We're gonna take a look at this guy. Uh, so he's got a power source, he's got a cockpit. The cockpit is up front. So if we just focus on the cockpit, that actually might be the best option. That disruptor was, was disrupting our power. And we're gonna repair really quick. And we use those resources from the outside to repair that with, that was pretty cool to see. Let's go on to the next target. Oh, here we go, we might get in range. Yes. So let's pause. Uh, again, we're gonna, we're actually gonna fire at his disruptor because that disruptor is very heavily um, annoying. Um, so we've hit the disruptor. Now we can focus on his cockpit. Yes, oh, excellent. Let's go head that direction and let's go try to take him out too. I also like slowing down to like one eighth. You can slow down all the way to one eighth of speed. We'll, we'll do that right now. It's really cool watching the laser fire. Oh dear, he's got a standard cannon. Those cannons shoot these really heavy shots. Whoa, and he missed us. He barely missed us though. Boy, he almost destroyed that thing. Thankfully my armor is doing well. Um, we almost have taken out that cannon. Let's speed up by one. It's just cool to watch this battle unfold. There we go. We are able to take it all out. Excellent. Let's go ahead and speed up and harvest what we can and repair what we can. We're going to go to this unknown source here. Let's go figure out what that is. Uh, okay, this is uranium. So at this point, I'm going to go ahead and tick this little custom marker option, and we're going to call it uranium. Perfect. All right, we're gonna receive payment for all three of those. Uh, let's go ahead and hire the last two crew that we need. So I'm gonna go ahead and spread this out a little bit, spread that out, that out, and then we're gonna armor it up. Um, it, eventually we'll put shields. That gives us a little bit more weight, sure, but it also gives us a lot more ability to engage in combat. Also, they won't be able to focus on both at the same time. They'll have to kind of strafe their shots a little bit, which is better for us. Let's accept a couple more of these fugitives. Let's head up to the next target, another fugitive bounty. Ooh, plus a wandering bounty, fantastic. Now, I'd like to pause this for a sec, and we're gonna click on, yes, we can click on our individual uh, systems here. I'm gonna click on these two blasters, and I'm gonna sign them with Control-1. So now, every time I want to, I just hit the key, one key. And I'm gonna go ahead down here to the fire synchronization, and we're going to put it on alternating. That way they're constantly shooting a single shot instead of a double shot. So we took out two of these goobers. Uh, <laughs> I don't know if goober is an official galactic term or not. Uh, might be. <laughs> there we go. We're all repaired. Let's go ahead to the blueprints and let's try to figure out some more engine power. I am going to go ahead and plan for uh better engines a matter of fact i can do that right now with all the extra parts floating around we're going to give these guys a second to uh energize those good so we'll be able to travel faster quicker hey look at that 
this is an abandoned ship. Um, if I wanted to, I could literally go right, go like this, and I could uh, transfer some crew, and we could pick the bottom feeder, and pick the bottom bottom feeder, uh, and we could transfer crew into that ship. Honestly, I don't see a huge need for it. However, what I do see a need for is adding in storage. And there, that is what we'll do. We'll uh, kind of add that. Now, I'm wondering if we should put the power in the middle. All right, so there, there's kind of what I'm thinking, although it's really darn ugly in the front. Um, and I really want better boosters, I suppose, better, better flight. Perfect. So we have some better uh, reverse thrusters. We have more side thrusters. We can't make it right now. It's going to cost way too many plates, but we will we'll be able to do it once we get back to the uh, station. Let's go ahead and mark this as abandoned ship, the bottom feeder. <laughs> let's let's fly over to the next target oh he's gonna be easy let's just blast that disruptor first let's take out that booster let's take out that gun that annoying little gun and take out the power and we're all set perfect okay so now we're getting into something a little bit more dangerous not quite sure i want to do this yet uh this is a turret if you notice it's not moving there's no movement at all between any of those uh Hmm. Let's go ahead and try and engage them. Oh, this might be a really, really, really bad idea. Let me go in and let's get right on the edge of our attack range here. Let's see if we can shoot him without him shooting us. We can. Perfect. So lasers have a, a longer range than cannons do. That's good to know. Um, we're also going to probably focus our fire on the power. Hey, we did it. We absolutely did it. So we'll be able to do that for all three of them. We won't have to worry about cleanup so much. Let's try to get through this. Now, if you notice, it looks like, check this out, guys. It looks like we've got someone else helping us out in destroying these turrets. Some other person, he's come through, he's hit those turrets, um, which is pretty, pretty cool, actually, I have to say. Um, and it's this ship right here. He's done a good job at helping us clean up. Uh, look at that. He took out this 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 other this other turret. Let's go ahead and harvest some of that. So there's there's two here. There's this circle, this asteroid belt that had turrets in it, and then there is this fugitive bounty, which is this circle right here. Um, so there's two things we're engaging now. Hopefully, we'll be able to focus on the power source quickly. Yes, there we go. We get the power source, and now we'll be able to engage on this guy right here super simple ship good there we go and we did it we we absolutely did it all right well guys we survived uh the first few uh first few things we've done let's go up here let's check this guy out hopefully this won't be our demise right as we are finishing up this particular episode all right let's see about engaging yeah we'll just take him out real quick so lots of little scrap around the place. Let's go back to the station. Let's wrap this episode up for the day, guys. Thank you so much for joining me on a new series of Cosmeteer. I love this game. We're going to see how far we can get and uh, how we can improve our ship. Eventually, we'll get a fleet and we'll get a, a factory ship going and uh, a resource gathering ship. And we'll mine out the asteroids and we'll attack different bounties. But thank you guys so much for being here today and sharing this adventure with me. I'm Luca Mundo, and I will see you guys on the next video. I'll catch you later. See ya.